Democrat Senator John Fetterman sat down for an interview with the New York Post. He ripped the idea of squatters' rights. He said, and I'm quoting now, squatters have no rights. How can you even pretend that this is anything other than you're just breaking the law? I am not woke. John Levine did that interview, and John joins me now. Seems like, to, to me, it seems like Fetterman is trying to appeal to moderates in the state so that moderates can capture that state in the election. What say you? Well, you know, it's funny you mentioned that. Something else that Senator Fetterman told me was that he plans to campaign very vigorously for Joe Biden in Pennsylvania and that it's going to be a very, very close state. And he thinks President Biden will win. Obviously, the polling is very mixed on that. But a number of people texted me after this article came out and they said, you know, if he gets over the finish line in Pennsylvania, it's going to be because of John Fetterman barnstorming that state and really making the case for him. Fetterman has a lot of credibility now with moderates and swing voters as a real independent and a maverick. And if anyone can get him over the finish line, it'll be Fetterman. Fascinating. The Wall Street Journal reports that there's a fracking boom in Pennsylvania. That's for sure. There really is. I know it well. And it is now hurting Biden's re-election chances. Now, it, it, fracking has a big role in Pennsylvania. Democrats don't particularly like it. Is that hurting Biden? Well, yeah, I mean, energy is very, very polarizing in this election. And if there's a fracking boom, you know, President Biden is obviously not a friend of fracking. And, and, and when I say polarizing, you've got traditional energy, oil and gas, fracking, coal. That's going to be more Republican. And you have new, greener energy like solar and wind. And I don't know, maybe they can make fuel out of potatoes. And that's going to be more closer to Democrats and the Green New Deal type stuff. So if you're in traditional industries like fracking and, and oil and gas, you're not going to vote for President Biden. And he has an agenda that's actively at odds to you. You see it with things like the repeal of the Keystone XL pipeline, which that same Wall Street Journal article went on to talk about how it you know, hurt jobs in that industry by doing that. Why is it that Pennsylvania is, I'm going to call it a toss-up state at the moment. Why is that? I would have thought that the border, energy, crime in Philadelphia, et cetera, et cetera, I would have thought that was enough to push the state into Trump's column. Why not? Well, I think, I think, well, it's a difficult question and there's no clear answer. And Senator Fetterman himself didn't even know the answer. But I think that Democrats have sort of lost touch with the blue collar union people that you, you mentioned earlier. And now you have all these, these working class people, these populists who are supporting Republicans. And Trump is really making a play for that coalition. And Democrats are now the party of wealthier, uh, more urban, white collar people with advanced degrees. And Republicans are increasingly reaching out to a lot of the voters that would have once been part of the Democratic coalition. Times change, don't they? John, thanks for joining us. I know we'll see you again real soon. John Levine, thank you, sir. Thank you, Brad.